Am I the asshole? For not buying a drink for my friends? I was out with a few friends the other day, we went to a restaurant for dinner. One of my friends is Muslim, and is very strict about everything, for example once one of her co-workers was smoking in the break room and she asked her to do it somewhere else, as it's against her religion. My friends wanted drinks, and I saw that my Muslim friend I'll call her Fatima looked to the ground and grimaced. When the waiter came I told him for just a few glasses of water, nothing else, and my friend interjected and asked for a beer, I stoked the waiter and told him no, just water. When he came back with the water, all my other friends piped up at me and started an argument about it. Fatima was being silent, but later told me she appreciated what I did. After dinner, my friends left me with the bill and drove home. So am I the asshole? Added I should really add, these were my friends, not hers, they met her once and asked her to come. You're the asshole. A. Don't intercept and sabotage someone else's order. B. You're either going out for drinks or you're not. If she wants to go out for tea or smoothies, or whatever else, then she can ask people to join her for that. I've joined my friends while they've smoked a cigarette, even when I don't smoke one myself. I don't walk outside with them, under a false pretense, and then swat the lighter out of their hand. Because then I would. You're the asshole. As a Muslim I have no issue being around people who drink and if I did I simply wouldn't accept invitations if there was going to be drinking involved. The only thing Fatima needed to do would ensure she paid for only her food as splitting the bill would mean she would indirectly pay for alcohol which is not allowed. If there were expectations of no drinking, this should have been made clear to your friends before the meal. You're the asshole. Nobody should smoke in break room as it is a second-hand smoke issue stinks. Fatima is going to have to learn to live in the world where people have different moral religious codes from her own. In trying to accommodate her, you denied someone else their liberty. This should be talked about beforehand with the friends coming to some agreement and not forcing it onto the friend. Both you and Fatima have unreasonable expectations of your friends. If Fatima has such a big issue with drinking, maybe. Just leave? She nor you have any authority over your friend's choices whatsoever. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. X200B. My friend interjected and asked for a beer. I stoked the waiter and told him no, just water, what assholery is this? X200B. These were my friends. Exactly. These were your friends. You very likely lost them that day. Your behavior was completely unreasonable. You're the asshole you're imposing religious beliefs on others and what's crazier is that they aren't yours. You might have been considerate to Fatima, but you were inconsiderate to your friends. I'm for not smoking in a break room because that's a health hazard in a public space, but alcoholic beverages don't magically end up in the mouth of a non-drinker. You're the asshole. You acted like a parent to a child with your friends telling the waiter no don't bring it. Like a parent might do if a child ordered two desserts or an extra order of fries, etc. You should have told everyone it was going to be a dry meal or tell Fatma people may be drinking and you need to understand that and if you don't come that's fine. You're the asshole. Her rights and where other people's begin. Her religion says she can't drink, not that she can't be in the presence of alcohol. I'm sure other people in the restaurant had alcoholic beverages. Are they not allowed either? Imagine telling people at the table next to you that your friend is Muslim so they can't drink. Ridiculous. She is a Natu. You're the asshole. I would never have dinner with you again if you told me what I couldn't eat and or drink. Fatima can do whatever she wants with her body, but neither she nor you can dictate what I do with mine. If she can't stand to be around people who don't adhere to her beliefs then don't invite her out in a group. You're the asshole. If Fatima is uncomfortable in social settings where others are drinking, she should stay out of them. You are under no obligation to buy your friends anything, but you can't forbid them from ordering what they want. That's unacceptable and very rude. What if someone at the table was a vegetarian? Should you not be allowed to order what you want, so they don't get offended? It's a ridiculous premise. But if you get to decide what I eat and drink, yes, you should pay. But I wouldn't have let you get away with it, at the time, either. Info confusing your post header implies the group thought you were buying thus you could control what comes to the table. At the end you state they left me w the bill. You're the asshole you are overbearing telling others what they cannot consume. No one asks you to buy them drinks and, per your comment, group members pay. You're the asshole religions are like penises. It's fine to have one. It's okay to be proud of it. But unless someone asks about it, you should keep it to yourself. You're the asshole do not force your lifestyle choices on others. 
Her religious beliefs are hers to deal with not the world's. You're the asshole. Smoking around someone indoors is one thing. Regardless of religion at play, secondhand smoke is an actual issue. Drinking a beer is another. They weren't asking forcing Fatima to drink one. As long as they were of legal age, they had every right to enjoy a beer with their meal. If Fatima can't handle being exposed to someone having an alcoholic beverage, she probably shouldn't attend dinners out at restaurants that serve it. Although it sounds like she wouldn't have said anything herself. You're the asshole just because it is against Fatima's religion does not mean others cannot drink around her. You're the asshole. If Fatima's religion prohibit alcohol, Fatima is free to not drink alcohol. Fatima is not free to decide what other people drink. Religion is like a penis. It okay to have one. It's okay to be proud of it. You can be petless in your own home. But don't bring it out in public and don't force it on others. Sorry to break it to you OP but Yida. I am cool with PPL having their beliefs and totally understand it may not be for everyone but I court myself around everyone all day long and when I am out and about, I will do that no longer. If I want to drink, I drink. It is up to Fatima after if she wants to be everyone. She needs to adjust towards her religion is not for everyone. You're the asshole. It's bad enough to force your own beliefs on other people, but you tried to force someone else's belief on other people. You're the asshole, one person's preferences at a table don't get to determine other people's. Fatima is welcome not to drink as much as everyone else is welcome to drink. The smoking is slightly different due to secondhand smoke if you're smoking indoors other people also have to breathe it in. You're the asshole. Sorry not sorry but idgaf about the rules of somebody else's religion. I will not pressure them to do anything, I will not make fun of them for not doing something. But what they believe will have no control over me, nor should anyone let it. Like I guess if you're paying, as it's implied, your word is the final say about what comes to the table but, the reasoning is dumb emo. You're the asshole I am also a Muslim but I've never acted this way. I keep my religion to myself and don't spread it to other people or bother them with it. I remove myself if I am in a situation that is unfavorable to me. You and Fatima. You're the asshole. I have Muslim friends who don't drink for religious reasons, and they've never had a problem with me drinking in front of them. I respect their choice, they respect mine. You don't get to dictate what other people do just because of one person's religious views. You're the asshole. Fatima's religious choices should not dictate other people's choices. She doesn't have the right to put her beliefs on anyone, and neither do you on her behalf. You're the asshole. Don't order for people unless they ask. It's rude. And Fatima lives in a world with things like alcohol and smoking, she has to learn how to navigate it and find what works best for her. You're the asshole. She is a Muslim, and she thinks this means everyone she graces with her presence has to obey strict Islamic rules that she holds herself bound by? Further, you decided that you were going to enforce that belief on your friends by hijacking their drink orders? You're the asshole. The group doesn't have to adhere to one person's faith. It's up to Fatima to navigate these situations. She can order her own water and let other people live their own lives according to their faith or philosophy. You're the asshole. Fatima has previously spoken up for herself, she can do it again. You don't need to fight her battles. She was fine with being there and knew what would likely happen. She thanked you, but she likely would have been fine as well. You're the asshole. Fatima is allowed to practice her religion, but she has no right to project her beliefs onto other people and dictate what they can and can't drink. People like her are the reason there is so much tension between religious and non-religious people. You're the asshole, it is her religion. She needs to live up to it, but nobody else you can't dictate what your friends consume or do. You are a massive TA here. Don't force religion on other people. You're the asshole. Her religion is not your friend's religion. They have every right to have a beer if they want. You deserve to be stuck with the bill considering how eager you were to decide what everyone would be allowed to have. Since you planned and ordered for them, they rightfully assumed you'd be footing the bill. You're the asshole. Fatima's religious choices are just that. Hers. If she doesn't want to be around alcohol she doesn't have to be. Instead you made a blanket choice for all the people involved, and stripped them of their choice. Fatima needs to learn to speak up about her needs and or excuse themselves. You're the asshole. As a Muslim woman, I don't care if people drink or not. But if I were that uncomfortable, I wouldn't go out to situations where people would most likely drink. Uda. You have absolutely no say in what someone else drinks. And your friend's religious beliefs are for her. Not everyone else. She doesn't get to choose what others do either. 
if I had any friend push their beliefs onto me. You can believe that we wouldn't stay friends for very long. You're the asshole. Just because her religion doesn't allow her to do something doesn't mean she has a right to police everyone else. Sure, not smoking in the break room at work is one thing but not allowing anyone else alcohol because she doesn't drink? That's not okay. Her religion tells her what she can and can't do with her body, but not what everyone else can and can't do. It's unreasonable to force everyone else to adhere to her religion. You're the asshole and so is Fatima. You were trying to be considerate by thinking of her but she doesn't get to impose her beliefs on others. That isn't how it works. Uta Fatima is also TA it is not against Fatima's religion for you or your friends to drink. It is against her religion for her to drink. It is not against Fatima's religion for other people to smoke, it is against her religion for her to smoke. She needs to stop forcing her beliefs on others. You're the asshole initially. My mother is 33 years sober, and I don't drink when we go out to dinner, but that's my choice. I would never tell anyone else out to dinner with not to do it. If she feels that strongly about her beliefs she can choose not to go out to dinner at restaurants that sell alcohol or you can go out to dinner with her alone so you don't have to worry about others drinking. They shouldn't have left you with a bill, but at least the waters you ordered were free, right? You're the asshole, there was a solution to respect your friend's religion Fatima would not partake in drinking alcohol. I think it's common etiquette to pay for the table if you order for the table. Glad your friends read your gesture appropriately. Seriously? If I was with friends and ordered a beer, and one friend told the waiter waitress not to give me one, I'd be pissed. You friends are adults and you have no right to impose your morals, or your friend's morals, on them. So he'll yeah, you're the asshole. You're the asshole. If Fatima does not drink or smoke for religious reasons, then that's her right. However, neither she nor you have any right to force others to abstain.